Solomon was the king of Israel after his father, David, died. God made Solomon very wise. Solomon began to build a temple for the Lord. Solomon ordered thousands of workers to help build the temple. They cut cedar logs and stone blocks. They laid a foundation and built the outside of the temple. God blessed the temple and promised Solomon, if you obey my commands, I will keep the promise I made to David. I will live among the Israelites and I will not abandon my people. The temple was built in seven years. It was beautiful. The cedar paneling inside the temple was carved with ornamental gourds and flower blossoms. Solomon overlaid everything inside the temple with pure gold. He hired men to make bronze furnishings for the temple, such as bronze bowls for holding water. When the temple was complete, Solomon moved the Ark of God from its place on Mount Zion to the new temple in Jerusalem. Solomon gathered the leaders of Israel. As the priests moved the ark to the most holy place in the temple, King Solomon and the leaders sacrificed sheep and cattle to the Lord. When the priests came out of the temple, a cloud filled the temple. God's glory was in the cloud. Solomon turned to speak to the Israelites. Praise God, he said. God promised David that his son would build a temple. God kept his promise. Solomon stood and prayed with his hands spread out toward heaven. There is no God like you, he said. Then Solomon thought about the future. He knew Israel would sin and make God angry again. So Solomon asked for forgiveness and he asked God to hear their prayers. When Solomon had finished praying, he encouraged the Israelites to love and obey God. The people returned to their homes joyful because God was good to them. The temple was a place where God was good with his people. The people could go there to make sacrifices and worship God. Today, when we trust in Jesus, he is with us wherever we go. We can look to him for forgiveness and help.